So as most people know, the new Fortnite update will be coming out later today, and in this one, they will be introducing a new weapon, which is the minigun. Throughout this video, I'll be talking about what bugs are going to be fixed and what changes have been made to the game. With the latest update, which was last week, Epic Games fixed a bunch of bugs and glitches, but new bugs have been added into the game from the same update. It's mostly little things that don't affect gameplay, but two bugs that I've been experiencing in the game, which sometimes gets me killed, is the building bug. That is when you switch too quickly to a structure and the game doesn't build the structure you have selected, instead it's build a different one. And the bug where players look like they're not holding out a weapon, but on their screen they are, and in the end they end up killing you because you think they're holding out like their axe or something. So I haven't seen what changes have been made to the game, so this will also be interesting for me as well. So first I should go over what the light machine gun is about. So on the official website it says that the light machine gun can be found in chests and supply drops. It fires almost as quickly as the SMG and it uses light ammo. I'm glad it uses light ammo because throughout most games I wouldn't use a pistol and I'll have about 700 light ammo by the end of the game. It also says that they will be reducing the drop chances for the epic and legendary suppressed pistol. Epic being by 20% and the Legendary being 33%, which I guess is fair because I come across the Suppressed Pistol way too often, being that it is an Epic and a Legendary weapon. For people using controllers, the Auto Run option can be disabled and enabled in the settings. The Auto Run was introduced in the last update, but so many people don't know about it. You can Auto Run by double clicking the left thumbstick, and it also works when you are gliding. It says here they have fixed a few landscape areas that were barely below floor height which resulted in some structures to appear underground. I may have come across this, but I can't remember a time I have. And another bug fix to improve gameplay is that players can now shoot through the soccer goal. I remember one time I had to shoot someone at the soccer field, but the goal was blocking the bullets, so this is a good change. For PC players, they have added a 3D resolution slider to video options. I won't go too much into this because I don't know much about PC and how that stuff sort of works. Some general bug fixes have been added, like the fix a client crash that would trigger by an audio cue. They have fixed an issue preventing players from unmuting other players in the lobby screen. Fixed an issue causing an incorrect character model to display on the lobby screen. I haven't experienced this bug before until earlier this morning. I thought it was kinda interesting because it showed a character from the Save the World campaign. And so yeah, I ended up recording it as well. Thank god. And lastly, they have fixed an issue causing entire walls to highlight when looking at a door. One thing they are implementing into the game that I'm looking forward to is that the game will tell you how many active spectators are watching you as you play. A little eye icon will appear in the bottom left of the screen to tell you how many are watching, and there will also be an option to turn it off for people who prefer not to know. They will also be changing the colour of the rarity effect on items. It says it's to improve overall performance, and the colours will only look slightly different. And they've also corrected the drinking speed animation for the 15 second chug jug item which I guess means that the animation is no longer in slow-mo, which I thought looked funny, but looks like they'll be changing it. They have made some bug fixes to the audio in-game. I'll quickly go over this since it's not that important, but they have improved specialization of loot chest audio by increasing the audio volume if you're aiming at it. They have removed the static audio from televisions, fixed the directional audio issue when another player switches to a shotgun, and remove footsteps audio, or footstep audio from dancing modes. And some fixes have been made to the world, like they have fixed the missing collision on a window asset in Tilted Towers, fixed the landscape appearing jagged at medium range distances, fixed an issue causing two items to spawn in the same location near Lonely Lodge, and disabled the collision on the vines at Moisty Mire. And now lastly, I didn't know this until now, but they will be fixing the building bug, here it says visual building selector issue that sometimes makes the wrong structure type appear. This is probably one of my favourite fixes because this happens way too often, at least twice every game and it gets me killed several times. So that's about all for this update. We still don't know what rarity the light machine gun comes in, but I'd guess it's epic and legendary since it comes from supply drops. And it'll be interesting to see how players use it. My guess will take down bases in like 10 seconds. So I'm looking forward to it. As always, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.